Hello again, this is Madan. In this demo, we are going to add Signal R to our MBC application. So, Signal R facilitates real time communications between clients once they are connected with the Signal server. So, once the clients are connected with the Signal server, then they can establish bi directional communications between each uh, other and they can communicate in a real time. And Signal R has a wide range of applications, but uh, uh, in the case of our application, we are going to use Signal R to provide uh, real-time notifications to the user so in the case of our application right at the moment uh, if the user gets the notification then the user need to refresh the browser to see the notification but once we add signal R then uh, whenever the user gets the notification the notification will be displayed without refreshing the browser so let's see the example here I am logged in as test at the red gmail.com and in the another window I am logged in as test1 at the red gmail.com now when this user changes the status of this page let's click on it and change the status now this user should get the notification because this user has a dog uh, pet in in their watch list and uh, this pet is owned by this user so in order to see my notification I need to refresh the browser so if I refresh then I see the notification so uh, right at the moment the user needs to in order to get the notification the user need to uh, refresh the browser but now we are going to add the signal r and once we add the signal r to the project then uh, the user doesn't need to um, uh, refresh the browser to see the new notification uh, it um, it uh, happens in real time uh, whenever the user sends any notification then the receiver of that notification will get the notification without refreshing the browser so first place we are going to add signal r to our project and here i have opened a link in my browser you can see the link here at the top of my browser and in order to add signal r to our project we need to follow a couple of steps for the first place we need to add a signal r package to our mbc project so i'm going to copy this from here and jump back to the code and let's go over to the mbc demo.cs process and we are going to add a package reference for the signal r here let's save this and once we save we need to uh, restore the package and of course uh, vs code uh, prompts us to restore the package you can either click on restore or you can go to the terminal view integrated terminal and we can say dot net restore and this will download all the necessary components of this newly added package to our project once we add NuGet package to our application then we need to download the client side script for the signal r because it is uh, it uses javascript uh, to communicate in a real time so the javascript library for the signal r is asp.net slash signal r dash client so let's let me copy this line from here and uh, we go to the browser and we go to our terminal and let's paste it and i'm going to save this as a development dependency so let's give it a save switch and hit enter and this will add the signal r client to our uh, package.json file dependency section so if i open package.json file and dependencies then now we can see spnet slash signal r client and this signal r client a uh, client side library has been downloaded to node modules by the npm but we need to move that file from this node modules directory into uh, inside www root directory and node modules folder so in order to move that we have already written the gulp task to copy so I'm just uh, going to run the gulp uh, copy npm and this copies our node modules our ASP.NET um, signal R client library from node modules to node modules directory which is inside the www root uh, folder so that the ASP.NET core can directly solve this file so now if I click on the node modules directory and if I refresh and again uh, and then we can see that the ASP.NET has been copied here and one thing we need to do is we need to just uh, rename this to ASP.NET and replace this at the red sign because uh, uh, when we 
call this script from the script tag then this at the red sign will cause the problem so let's just rename this to ASP.NET now we need to inject this uh, the javascript file which is inside the asp.net signaler client distribution browser and this javascript file into our um, layout.cshtml file so let me copy the name of this file i'm just gonna click the rename and copy the name of the file just copy but i'm not actually gonna rename this now once we copy this then we can add uh, add the path of this file to our package.json so that we can inject it inside our layout.cshtml file so let's head over to package.json file and let's provide the path for our newly added um, signal r client side library so it is inside www root slash node underscore modules slash aspnet slash signal r dash client slash distribution dist browser and the name of the file once we do this we have already developed the gulp task to inject this file into our layout.cshtml file so let's run gulp inject and now Gulp has successfully injected our file into our layout.cshtml file to, just to confirm let's go ahead and check it uh, click on share and layout.cshtml and if we go to the javascript section then it has successfully added the signal r to our script section so this is all it takes to add signal r to our project and uh, in another demo we will uh, implement a signal r feature to provide real-time notifications uh, notification to the users in our mbc application thanks for watching have a good day